Hello, this is Gary L., your host from The Road Less Traveled, that airs on boldvoices.tv Sunday nights on midnight. Really enthralled with this video. I'm extremely excited to see the interest and the readings as I posted in a uh, text uh, comment. I find it interesting that only 98 people are showing us having bumped this up on big. The amazing amounts of views of 52,000 or better and 20, uh, over 2,000 uh, comments. I find it difficult to believe it's sitting at 98 on the big page. Take that for what it's worth. Also, see scrolling above my head here, is a link for a PDF site, the Congressional Research Service. And I'd like to read just a little bit of that to you. I have to pull it up here. All right, Congressional Research Service, January 7th, 2010. Honeybee Collapse Disorder. I'll only read the summary. Starting in late 2006, commercial migratory beekeepers along the east coast of the United States began reporting sharp declines in their honeybee colonies. Because of the severity and unusual circumstances of these colony declines, scientists named this phenomenon Colony Collapse Disorder, or CD. C, uh, correct, I'm sorry, CCD. Reports indicate that beekeepers in most states have been affected. Overall, the number of managed honeybee colonies dropped an estimated 35.8% and 31.8% in the winters of 2007-2008 and 2006-2007 respectively. Preliminary losses estimates for the 2008-2009 winter reported at 28.6%. To date, the precise reasons for colony losses are not yet known. Honeybees are the most economically valuable pollinators of agricultural crops worldwide. Scientists at universities and at the U.S. Department of Agriculture, or USDA, frequently assert that bee pollination is involved in about one-third of the U.S. diet and contributes to the production of a wide range of fruits, vegetables, nut trees, forage crops, and some field crops, and other specialty crops. The monetary value of honeybees as commercial pollinators in the United States is estimated at about 15 to 20 billion dollars annually. Now, interesting to note that we don't mention corn. And I think as anyone who has grown corn knows that pollination of the corn crop is essential essential in having the corn properly produce. Honeybee colony losses are not uncommon. However, losses in recent years differ from past situations in that honey, I'm sorry, colony losses are currently occurring mostly because bees are failing to return to the hive, which is largely uncharacteristic of bee behavior. Bee colony losses have been rapid. Colony losses are occurring in large numbers, and the reason or reasons for these losses remain largely unknown. Based on the available research over the past few years on the numerous possible causes of CCD, USDA concluded in its 2007-2008 progress report released in June 2009 that it now seems clear that no single factor alone is responsible for the malady. This has led researchers to further examine the hypothesis that CCD may be a 
syndrome caused by many different factors working in combination or synergistically. Currently, USDA states researchers are focusing on three major possibilities. One, pesticides that may have been may be having unexpected negative effects on honeybees. Two, a new parasite or pathogen that may be attacking honeybees, such as the parasite Nosema serena or viruses. And number three, a combination of existing stresses that may compromise the immune system of bees and disrupt their social system, making colonies more susceptible to disease and collapse. Stresses could include high levels of infection by the varroa mite, poor nutrition due to, due to apiary overcrowding, pollination of crops with low nutritional value, or pollen or nectar scarcity, exposure to limited or contaminated water supplies, and migratory stresses. I'll let you read the rest of that summary. But the one thing that is clearly not present is the onset of, and the wide usage of GMO crops. Specifically, GMO corn. That seems to have been left out of the possibilities of the solution to an unknown and, un and yet to be determined cause. It would seem to me to be prudent to include GMO as a potential cause for honeybee colony collapse disorder. Thank you for watching.